big boobs and small bum. That's me, ladies. We've done lots of styling videos. We've done petite. We've done pear-shaped. We've done tall and skinny. We've had lots and lots of requests about how to dress if you have big boobs, which I found quite bizarre because you see me every week and I have got big boobs, but I'm not sure that everybody can quite take that on board. <laughs> so what we've decided to do is talk about my body shape, how I dress. This is predominantly the contents of my wardrobe, so you can't buy most of it. Just to make that clear now, so that you don't try and look for it all online, uh, because Although most of it is from Artichoke, it is from previous seasons. I've also done lots of research. So there's notes, um, which means I'll be reading from them quite a lot. Donna's going to try and keep me on message and on time. Yeah. She's going to shout out questions and I am going to crack on now. So what is my body shape? Have I ever thought about it a lot? Does it matter? I'm not really sure it does. Um, it's not something that I spend an awful lot of time thinking about. However, having done the research, I think considering what it might be could help you understand why you look better in some things and either feel incredibly comfortable or look bloody awful in that dress that looked like a must-have when it was on the hanger and we've all done that i do it every season when i'm buying i look at the samples choose all the things that i'm going to be a mega babe in when they arrive put them on i'm usually sorely disappointed and the things that i bought for somebody else but not for me are the things that work so you know where i'm coming from ladies um I do feel, however, and I am going to upset, I know a lot of people here, um, is like having your colours done, focusing on your body shape can be a blunt instrument because it doesn't take into consideration your personality. It also doesn't take into consideration other parts of your body that you might want to accentuate or diminish so although i have big boobs and that's theoretically what i want to uh to balance and correct i actually have relatively short legs and it's my short legs that are my obsession in life not my big boobs so i think it's 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 worth knowing and it's worth understanding that the moment somebody tells you you should do this or you should do that is the moment to walk away from them. Because the only thing that you need in your wardrobe, ladies, is confidence. And if you have confidence in what you're wearing and you think you look good because you carry what you're wearing with confidence, you do look good. Which is why Donna and I look at the rules, we take some notice of the rules, but we tend to ignore them if they don't suit us. Don't you agree, Donna? Yeah, we take the not notice of some of the rules. Some of the rules are made to be broken, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so if you lack confidence, then obviously trawling through Instagram and on YouTube and actually looking at our oh, very, very strange videos, you know, it's a great thing and we're always happy to help. So what is my body shape? At this time, I whistle off my wrap and I've got my Marks and Spencers vest on because I'm really hoping that that will help you understand what my body shape is. Turn to the side. There we go. Yeah. We're try I'm trying to see if you, we can... I, I can okay. actually do that a bit yeah, later. Yeah, there you yeah. go. So, right, if you leave my boobs out of the equation, so just pretend these aren't here, I am actually quite angular. I don't really go in. And I'm sort of straight up and straight down, no bum, very flat hips, flat bottom. But because I have a very large bust and my bust is two dress sizes bigger than the rest of me, I think that i am become more of an inverted triangle, i.e. an upside down triangle than a rectangle, which is what I would be without one. A lot of inverted triangles, however, I have found since doing my um, research, are this shape because they have 
broad shoulders so it's their shoulders and we know ah, women who've got yes, fabulous yes, shoulders yeah yeah and that's what makes them the triangle, the triangle a very shape. athletic body which is what i would think automatically when you said inverted triangle i wouldn't think of boobs i would think of um shoulders more but more it's than, these that actually yeah. make me triangular yeah. you know i definitely yes. go in yeah and actually um Although my uh, shoulders are bigger than my hips, mm. I do have exceptionally small hips because I have impossibly bad posture. If I just stand up properly now, they are slightly sloping and not particularly wide. So I don't have great shoulders. Um, I've got no waist definition and I never ever have had one. So if we actually um go down my body you can see that i do go in i go in here can mm. you that is obvious isn't it yeah it is, I do it is. yes it is this is my chest is that obvious is... to everybody else can you thumbs up if it is if we if sarah asks the question can you thumbs up so that okay. um i'm not answering this is for not you. my waist this is bone this yeah. is my chest okay thank you now i'm just going to turn to the side and we're going to get to the bottom of my chest and can you see this bit of me is bigger than anything else apart mm. from my boobs this is is quite pronounced and quite appley so i don't have a waist if i went in i probably would go in here wouldn't i Ooh, put it don't, don't put be it pulling up. it up <laughs> right if this is if i had a waist yeah it would be going? there yeah we go yeah. in there yeah and i don't go yeah. in there no i go out there okay so we don't have a waist the other thing we want to knock on the head immediately is the fact that I have long legs. Yeah. Can you see how long this is yeah. to here? Yeah. This is where my groin is, darlings, underneath here. Look down, it's yeah. short. Yeah. So people say that I should wear something that ended at my hips. The only time I would ever do that is when I had heels because suddenly my legs are longer. Yeah. So this is short legs. If I just grab this belt, and put it where my waist should be, which is where I tend to belt things Lovely in because new belt. I like high-waisted things. Now I have long legs, don't I? Oh, look, yeah. optical illusion. Optical illusion. Yeah. So and we have been measuring the legs today, ladies. She's, uh, Sarah is not lying. They are not very long. <laughs> right, so um, flat bottom. I've got flat bottom. So that's defining all the bad things or the things that possibly we want to correct. However, people who um, are on my shape tend to have good legs. And I have great legs. I know that. My legs are perfect. One, two, three. You should have three holes in your legs. Oh, when I was at work, oh my god! I was the woman when I was at work. When I worked for the shipping company before I had um, my children, they always used to laugh at me. I used to work with a lot of blokes, and like they used to call it me something in Spanish, the woman with the perfect legs. Right now, I'm just going to turn sideways <laughs> because, of course, I haven't shaved my bits, ladies. So we just need to do this so you don't see my dribbly bits. But we're now going to put on. <laughs> we're going to put on some trousers. <laughs> And I'm just going to quickly slip these And now on. your legs look long because they're high-waisted trousers. High-waisted trousers and I'm putting a heel on. But really, it's so that you don't have to stare at my underwear for the next half hour. So we're just going to um, pop a pair of trousers on to make me decent. I've put these sandals on rather than my gorgeous ones I bought because they are just easy to wear. Right, so we're now going to move on to the good news the good news is that most models of this shape so think about angelina jolie or naomi campbell however perfection is considered to be hourglass which is what donna is mm. and for our body shape to achieve this you need to move the attention from the top to the bottom half in particular your legs this will give the illusion of a waist that you probably don't have. Um, but the whole thing with this shape thing, which yeah. I go back to, and with having your colours done, is I think you also need to consider your personality. Yeah. You know, they, you, 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 I could be somebody this body shape who loves flouncy dresses, but I'm not uh my friend tracy said that she has a very masculine style and i think i do too you know mm -hmm. i like 
constructive things i like i do like Stru classic structure classic structure yeah. um, and that's very much part of my personality so i don't feel comfortable in a lot of floaty things so you know like donna loves oversized oversized shirts yeah. oversized everything yeah. but theoretically it should be the other way round. i should love the floatiness but i feel incredibly uncomfortable and i think you need to think yeah worry less about what colors you should wear and what size you know you should be comfortable in what you're wearing because again that's what gives you your confidence but i like that because that's the bohemian side to me exactly which i don't think you have you're oh my God, no. No. the only person who didn't go to glastonbury when we were kids because there were no lavatories and no hair dryers i was the only person left in it and um, no i'm no. not one of you, those mothers who not, goes to no. festivals with her children I'd rather die. <laughs> right, so we'll move swiftly on for that. Right, so reading suggestions like Donna did when she did her petite series, I can see why I'm drawn to a lot of the clothes that they suggest because I already wear them and they're in my wardrobe. Once they start telling me what to wear, that's when I rebel. So here I've got pieces from my wardrobe that tick some of the boxes, some items that theoretically shouldn't be there and some items that should be there but aren't um, and I think the um, useful thing about doing this is you will see quite a lot of them follow a theme which obviously shows that I am a woman who likes a uniform and we know that already you know mm. I just I think it's just for ease so you don't have to think about it I so are we saying that by we're looking at this wardrobe now we're aiming it at the triangle shape so can I just repeat what you've said? You, this is not, some of you might be watching thinking, oh, well, I don't have big boobs, so I'm not going to watch this. But do, do, what Sarah said was, if you're broad, you have big shoulders, this is also for you. Yeah. So it's not yeah. just about boobs. But in Sarah's case, it is. But for those of you watching without boobs, it's shoulders as well. And also it is for people with boobs who might have a slightly different shape because a mm. lot of the things cross over, don't they? Yeah, well, some of the things you've mentioned today include, or exactly. that you so were talking about today, include me. Boobs yeah. Yeah. And as part of your hourglass figure. So, you know, the same applies to you. Yes. Some of them do, yeah. Right, so let's kick right. off with this Earth yep. shirt, which I re rescued out of the laundry basket because I was wearing it on Sunday. So this ticks a lot of um, boxes, but I didn't buy this because it ticks boxes. I bought it because I love it. But the boxes it does uh, tick is vertical stripes. So it draws the eye down, which is a must open neck and collar i love wearing shirts but the v as we know draws the eye down and diminishes the bust and the sleeve detailing is very good at the bottom of the sleeve it's mm. a loose sleeve detailing and um it it draws the eye down to the end of my arms what i shouldn't ever wear and i don't is a sleeve that ends here ah, because it ends drawing. in my bust line yeah. so this little lighthouse t-shirt it's why i hate it i could it's never really put a finger place. on it but i feel like an old lady in it and it's because it's drawing all the attention to here so this ticks all the boxes um that doesn't this is another one from my wardrobe this is the joanna cross hatch um, when we got here, I realised it probably would have been easier to have left my wardrobe at home and us gone over there to do it because then everything wouldn't be as creased as it is. But this is a great shirt for me. It's got the blue lines going down. But it, both these shirts reflect my quite masculine personality. You know, they're men's shirts really, aren't they? Very but they're men's shirts with bust darts. <laughs> with bust darts. Oh, yes. Bust you see, darts. bust darts. Bus darts. We won't go on to bus darts. We haven't got okay, time. Okay. We'll do something else about dust bus darts. Bus darts mm. are an imperative. Right, now soft feminine structures are recommended. As we've already said, that's not really my style. I prefer crisper lines. I don't really do floaty, but I have put here some items in my wardrobe 
that do float because of the material they're made from. So chiffon is a good material for me to wear. It's one that I love. Although it's a structured shape, it's a soft material. Yeah. And I do wear a lot of these softer tops. This is an old yes one. It's about God knows how old. How old is that one? Uh, four years. Four years old. This is a little Marinello one. It's a jersey uh, top with the chiffon sleeve. We've both got this. We I know. I was it. just thinking I've got that. I yeah. need to get that out. We love it. I need so to get that, that out this winter. Is, um, that's a gorgeous one. Uh, I like my drop sleeve t-shirts. I must yeah. say that as far, this is about as floaty as I get. Okay. Mm. And I would definitely wear this one. In fact, I need to grab one before we sell out. So I don't really do floaty. I don't really do oversized, but I do do slightly oversized with t-shirts, which completely contradicts it. I should never, ever wear a ruffle because of my bust. Well, that's a load of baloney because this is my yep. favorite yep. top. Um, but I think I can get away with it because it's a very soft material, but also it's got the V with the plaque. But interestingly, I have a big bust. I have that. I have that you blouse, have the sleeveless, version. The sleeveless yeah. version, and I think that's my most worn top yes, in my wardrobe. It goes with so be many worn things. This would a lot more yeah. if it were. If I would wear this all summer, if it wasn't hot at the moment, I wear yeah. it a lot yeah. in the winter. I think also um, that's why we're not neurotic about our arms. Because mm. instinctively, we know that the more flesh we've got on show, yeah. the more it diminishes our ah, bust. Yes. Because yeah? so, I go for yeah. I, go I, I, to I, go I mean, for I know arms. my arms are going, but I really couldn't give two hoots. Mm. Um, and I just know that I'm going to look better in something with flesh that's exposed than something that's tight and, and, and it's just not going to work and also I'm going to feel awful. Yeah. Right, now this is an old James oh Lakeland number. God, that's number. gorgeous. Have you not seen it before? This oh, is old, oh. this is about, this is about, I don't know how old it is, but I'm going to dig it out again. I shouldn't James wear Lakeland it means it's because it's got ruffles. It's, right. This is about seven or eight years old. So what do you normally wear this with? Oh, I bloody love it. I normally I don't I haven't seen it with these trousers actually. Does it work with these trousers? Yeah. What would I would normally wear is monochrome underneath. Right. I was going to say it looked great with those with the black version with of the, the tillies. Black, version, black yeah. tillies. That's a really good shape. But can you see? It's got the V. Yeah. It's that soft feminine look that theoretically I'm supposed to wear. It's got ruffles that I'm not supposed to wear. It comes in here. Yeah, because so it gives of the... me the illusion of the waist. But these bits give me hips. Hips. And the, the eye is drawn to that yeah. button in the yeah. middle. Yes. Turn around, please. Oh, and it's got elastic in the back that's nipping you in. Nipping You've got in. a waist in that. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's why very people well don't cut, believe James. that I don't have a waist because I spend a lot of time creating the illusion that I do. It's like the no, the long legs thing. Love that. Right, now let me, I don't go too far off message. Jackets. Jackets need to be single breasted, tailored with structure at the shoulders, narrow lapels, darker colour. Mm. Well, as you know, I love a jacket. I wear jackets in the winter and if it's if it's cool enough in the summer to do exactly what we've just discussed. So if I put this one on, which I shouldn't really wear because it's got lots of pattern at the top, but I don't care. I just wear monochrome underneath. It's single breasted. It's got the waist that I haven't got. You can does, can you see the waist? Yeah, absolutely. You yeah. Can. Yeah. And um, can you see it on it, camera? Just step two two steps to the camera. Yeah. Look at the shape on that. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. look here. My shoulders are underneath this. Mm. Can can you see that? Can you see my fingers showing yeah. you where my yeah. shoulders are? Yeah. Yeah. So it's got gives me broader shoulders, which, is, which again when it nips in, mm. it then gives me the illusion of the waist and it goes out where I haven't got hips. I bloody love this jacket. You can't buy this either because it's this is about four. That was a few old. years ago. I think that was love the it. yeah, I'd been here about a so, year. So um you see me always in this uh Barilocci jacket, so I'm not going to put that on again. Vertical stripes. Mm. Love it. This, this one, this jacket, this jacket must be... You need to pull the sleeve out, the sleeve's tucked in on one side. 
No, the one oh. you are holding. This jacket must be at least. I've 10 never years seen old. this jacket. Um, I love it. It's lined with, uh, it's poly lined. It's Oscar B. Which restricts me wearing it because it's so hot. But look at that. Breaks all the rules. It's got horizontal stripes, not vertical ones. Oh my! But I love that it. That is lovely. And is it beautiful? Yeah. It is yeah lovely. And again, it's look, nice. it's big. Can you see? It's got shoulder pads in it. Mm. So this widens my shoulders, goes in at the waist. Yeah. If it's cooler, I'd be wearing this. And also, uh, my little denim jacket, which I am going to pop on, is a Levi one. It is, hasn't got a single breast, it hasn't got anything of the things that it's supposed to have, but it stops here, just below my chest. So this is where my waist, if I had one, would be. So it just gives me the illusion with the break of a waist. And long legs. And long legs, yeah. which is what we all want. So that's jackets. Now, tops. So I've, we've got a question from um, Joe Plumley Dack. What length jacket then, if you had boobs, a stomach, hips, and a bum? So you've got no hips and no that's bum. A, that's, that, that is um, an hourglass, and we will answer that in another video because right. we'll find an hourglass person. Because okay. from what you've said, you have got an hourglass figure. So we can answer that in length at the end of this but if i start actually doing suggestions here i think we're going to run out of time yeah Jonathan. okay yeah right so um so we'll get back to you on that one joe accentuate the waist now we've had a discussion about this one of the suggestions was a wrap top well they're having a laugh <laughs> because anybody who has got big boobs will know that the wrap is never ever big enough is it Donna? no you you end up looking like bet lynch yeah. don't you, yeah, you the bet lynch that look. look yeah so bet lynch i think um i think uh bravissimo did some but their material and everything isn't particularly nice so you know, I think rat tops are dreamt up by people who don't have our body shape because they're never made to fit us. Mm -hmm. So we don't do rat tops. The other thing is you can see from this T-shirt why I wouldn't wear a fitted top unless I had something over the top because it's not particularly flattering. So that's a big no-no. If I have got a fitted T-shirt like this one, which is mine, it's an MXO one. It's been washed a lot of times, so I'm struggling to see the size, but I think it's an extra large. So I've gone up two sizes with this. Okay. And then I'll tuck it in and then have it tucking out the back. I'll do a French tuck on it. Okay. So any fitted tops, I wear oversized. Right, skirts. But, but can we, sorry, can I go back to the wrap? Because we're saying no to a, a wrap, but what about a faux wrap? Well, they, I look like, I look like a prostitute <laughs> yeah but what i do so so you wear something underneath i wear it if you, well no i if you no, no I, I i wear it bit i get bigger i'll buy a i buy a bigger size yeah, that's as you go in oh. all that's going to do with me is hang out hang hang Oh, ah, yeah, right, okay. Because it's not going to go in. Oh, no, it? I buy a bigger size, but because I wear a belt, you belt I get away up. with it because yeah, I belt it. I'm yeah, not okay. Do. Now, at this point, I have to mention that I have forgotten the two most important pieces, which is a really old coast dress, which was a wrap mm. that fitted me, and my Max Mara peplum dress which is just fabulous it's a very heavy jersey it's fitted to here and then it has a peplum now the thing with a peplum is because it goes out it gives me the illusion of a waist so the peplum comes out like my boobs but because i've got a peplum over a very tight skirt it also gives me the illusion of a waist. That dress, I can't... I'm going to take How a many of you of are Googling me. peplum at, at the moment? Well, I'm going to take a photo of me in that and you will see what I, what I mean. It is absolutely gorgeous. Right. Strapless dresses. Now, there's disagreement about that. People have got big shoulders that say you shouldn't wear strapless dresses. People have got... Some people say that you should, if you're an inverted triangle, you should wear strapless <laughs> dresses, possibly if you've got a booby inverted triangle. Now, the theory in that is cracking. When I was younger, I wore strapless dresses. Although my shoulders are slightly sh uh, sloping, you know, I've got quite good clavicles and um, I always had quite good boobs. Now they are around my ankles. 
And quite frankly, I am not convinced, and Donna isn't either with hers, that we are going to be able to find a strapless bra that keeps these above sea level and is going to be comfortable. Well, I have done it. So I, I, have, I have done it, but the bra has to be extremely tight, yeah, well, she's not really tight. But what it does is it, it kind of misshapens your boobs. Right. So if you're standing in the bra, it, it's that pushed in look and they don't look normal but it depends on the dress so if the dress is a little bit looser then I can get away with it but it's the shape that they always look a little bit of an odd shape so that's yeah. what gets to me yeah. see, I, would, I did used to wear a lot of sleeveless mm. I used to wear sleeveless tops mm. I do however love a halter neck and bravissimo used to wear a gorgeous yeah. halter neck top um I bought it for years I wear halter neck swimsuits because then you've got all the exposure of the flesh, which diminishes your boobs, but they're hoofed up round your neck. So well, you, 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 that's a good point. Sorry, that's a good point there in that um, you've mentioned Bravissimo, that for to, to follow all these rules, your boobs have got to be in the right place, haven't yeah. they? You know, if if you if your boobs, oh, darling, if they're down here, if they're down here, uh, Mel and I, I had a conversation while we were on holiday last week about um, bras. Um, sending her to Bravissimo, <laughs> she didn't think she was big enough to go to Bravissimo. You don't have to have huge bazookas to go to uh, Bravissimo. You just need to ha you need to have it tight around your middle and yeah. not be able to they fit two fingers. They cannot be nursing when you tell me about. No, they they and they will they will be heading that way, won't they? Yeah, well, my right. right. down to my knees now. Right, right. so tops that end at the hip bone. We've already been there because if I have a top that ends at my hip bone, mm -hmm. it makes my legs look shorter. It might balance out this. So you don't do tunics. No, no, I don't do tunes because my legs are too thin. Right, That's okay. the biggest reason. Okay. We didn't actually concentrate on how thin my legs are. Right. They look long because they are very, very thin. thin. I okay. do not carry any weight on my body yeah. apart from here. Right. All the weight that I carry is here. My legs, there's nothing. They're bone and it muscle. It stops there. It doesn't go down to your legs. And it doesn't go down to my legs, but it just piles up here right right belts to define my waist we've been there already i wear belts in jeans i'm not sure about wearing them anywhere else because you'd be belting here and if i turn around to the side all it's doing really is sort of my tummy pops out beneath the belt the so, father christmas look with his belt exactly and yeah. of course i can't do the drop belt yeah. because i don't have any hips, hips to, to hold keep that it up. up because this yeah. is bigger than these yeah. lower body create width and overall balance with an a-line skirt well you're having a laugh aren't you because <laughs> they are never big enough in the waist once i have look i don't know what size this is but you can clearly see it's not going anywhere in order to get them big enough around my waist I, they will then all sort of stick out here. Right. Okay. So I don't do A-line skirts. I have never, ever found an A-line skirt that fitted me. Skirts are from the bias with an elasticated waist. They were. Oh, yeah, those skirts. Yeah. Now, these, this, these pleated ones. Now, this is the nearest I can get to an A-line skirt because it's got an elasticated That's waist. Gorgeous. It will go around my waist. And the different colour at the bottom is oh, yeah. drawing the eye down. So this is what I'm wearing to work tomorrow. It's the Pomodoro skirt with this little K design. That skirt looks as good as the day you bought it. It looks I love amazing. It. And I'll yeah. be wearing these sandals as well. Right. So that's what I'm wearing to work tomorrow. Um, it's a great outfit. I feel really comfortable in it. And I look good because I think I look good. So yeah, we don't do A-line skirts. Now, as you know, the shop I a shop at, apart from Artichoke is Zara and because I just think their design is so cracking. So here are some Zara culottes. I think I got them this year actually. They tick a lot of boxes. So it's a bold print which draws the eye down. Oh. Now that is the theory but if you think about it Donna it doesn't always work because stamen trousers yep. always look better on Christine didn't they? Yeah. Can you remember all these beautiful patterned 
trousers that I bought for me. Yeah, I and look, they look a big pig in them. They look good. Put them on Christine, Christine yeah. who is pear shaped, so it's very counterintuitive. She mm. should have looked awful in them. She looked a million dollars. So I think it's also got quite a lot to do with the cut as well as the fact it's a bold pattern. So if I just shove this in my groin, high waisted, which is a big tick for me. It's got a side zip, so it's it skims over my um, hips. It's not it's not too big in the waist. It's not too big over the hips. It's got the band at the bottom, which is drawing the eye down, and it's the crop flare, which both you and I wear mm. because a little bit of ankle elongates your legs. So um, I love these. Um, let me see if there's anything else I should be saying about them. So I do wear a lot of wide leg crop flares. I wear trousers that show the ankle because it lengthens the leg and draws the eye down, like my lovely James Lakeland culottes. And you love me in these, don't you? Yeah. Every time yeah. I wear them, you say how good they look. Yeah. And they are getting slightly old and shabby. So, <laughs> But these are fab. Again, high-waisted, pocket good detailing. Pockets detailing at the bottom of the leg vertical stripes tick a lot of boxes I but you see the positioning of those and the type of pockets matters in those it those are really good here yeah see? and that's yeah the it's the same are good the they are good because yeah. they basically you have stuff going on over the hips yeah. if you have big hips you shouldn't have pockets here yeah. you shouldn't have any detailing because you don't want the eye to be drawn Absolutely. down um, jeans. Now, jeans, I wear not too skinny skinnies. The reason I do not wear very tight jeans and I never wear leggings is because I look like the child catcher. Because I have very long legs and big flappy feet. So I wear the Angelica Magic Stretch and the 2021s because they're a narrow jean, but they're not too skinny. So that on you, they look like a boyfriend jean. Yeah. Yeah, well, I go up a size. If I really yeah. want a good boyfriend, I wear a size bigger. Yeah. Yeah, so I love these. These are the 7.8s. I wear 7.8s trousers all the time, even if they're full length. I roll them. Eye goes the same. High-waisted, pocket detailing, detailing at the bottom. You get what I'm trying to They're say. high-waisted, ladies, if you buy the right size. If, you, if, they, if they feel low-waisted on you, you're in the wrong size. These are lovely. Yeah, I love those these. are your favourites, aren't they? they? They're one of your favourites. And I love these. I get so many compliments. But you yeah. can see where I'm going. Another pair of jeans. These are, um, you can see I've worn these. I've done these out of the laundry. Those are Angelica Magic and you tur always turn them up. Yeah. Those are the stone wash. So we've done Those are the pockets. ones that you went up a size in. Uh, horizontal stripe. Horizontal stripes. I should be wearing horizontal stripes mm. on my legs. Mm. I don't think so. No. I don't know who dreamt that one up. Embellishments. There is no way on this planet I will be wearing a pair of jeans with dear Monty squirrels on them. So we're just not going there, okay? If you want to do it, it's up to you. But a big, big thing that I will not be wearing is embellishments. I don't mind a pocket or two, but I'm not doing sparkly. Dresses. Dresses are incredibly difficult because as I pointed out to you at the beginning of this, these are two sizes bigger than the rest of me. So trying to get a dress that fits is incredibly difficult. And if you are a woman with big boobs, my only advice to you is if you see a dress and you love it, you buy it and you wait for the occasion to arise. Mm. The number of times I have been running around Norwich in tears the day before a wedding, trying to find something that fits, forget whether I liked it or not. So I always buy dresses when I see them. But that's before you found K Design. Do you remember the year you found K Design? And K Design and works. We're going, we're going on to K Design. And those are the dresses that work yeah. because it's the fabric, because doesn't it? Fabric the falls fabric better. falls. But yes. you know, if you don't, if you can't find a K Design that you from us that you like, you know, I, I wouldn't wear this to a very very formal event. So if I was going to, I can't think, a very posh wedding or something, like, or a funeral, you know, just those events in your life where you know you're going to need a very posh frock mm. or a very particular frock, I always buy it when I see it. So this is, in theory, what I should wear. We go back to the fact that the, the wrap is in completely the wrong place. 
I'm not going to put this on, but I can promise you ladies that if I did, I'd look like Beth Lynch. So, wraps are a no-no. K-Design dresses. Now, this I love. I shouldn't wear it because um, I shouldn't really wear the pussy bow, but I do. I tie it up and then I let it fall. Um, I don't wear it with a belt because the belt accentuates my waist that I haven't got in the wrong place. So basically it's too low, it's where I'm biggest. But if you can see, it is semi-fitted. These are, it, it's not completely fitted, but it falls nicely enough that I can get away with it. So it, it fits me over the bust and it's not too alarmingly big everywhere else. And this has got a slight, slight A line, so it does go out, so it gives me the illusion of hips. And also, you can see my ankles at the bottom. Right, yeah. A, a complete maxi is not great for me. Mid, mid thigh is about the worst length I could, mid calf is about the worst length I could possibly have. I tend to wear dresses to about here. Don't even really wear them just below the knee or down to about here. Yeah shift my eternal shift can you see oh I yeah these at the same time yeah never worn them together but this dress is about um this, well it's obviously the same age i wear now you a can because now more. it's a coat oh, it's a coat. <laughs> I, I wear this a lot more because it's lined with cotton rather than poly okay but again i shouldn't wear this i i re i feel very oh very here's your horizontal, and horizontal stripe yeah so not in a wear them at the top I should wear them just below the Yes, waist. but is it working because they're different, different widths. widths? They're different widths. I might actually pop a photo up of me in this dress. I feel very confident in it, which means I look good in it. Right, now these two dresses are the same dress. They are both from Zara. Mm. This is about six years old. This is a year old. And these are great shapes on me because they're a similar shape to the K design. So they're, they're fairly they're, they're fitted they're very similar to K design, at the top yeah. and then they're slightly flared out. Now we, I have these from Zara because until I got this K design dress and the K design dress I'm going to show you, I could never find them. I haven't been able to find something that's not K, a K design uh, cl a cloth until now. Pomodoro have a very, very similar shape to this coming out next summer. We oh. bought into it. So again, if you have a heavy bust, when these go online next summer, ladies, I will be wearing one. I've got everything crossed so that it fits me across the bust, that it's not too small, and um, it will be a great one for you to have. How are we doing on time? Uh, we're okay. okay. You've got um, you've got the well, You've got ten minutes. Ten minutes. Oh my yeah. God. Oh, how much have you got to do? On. Right. Well, well, you've you've got twenty minutes. But right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this one shouldn't work. It does. I think it's because it's got a slight boat neck, so I've got quite a lot of flesh on here, and because yeah. of the length, it's above the knee. Okay. Well, we can remember how hideous I looked in this one. <laughs> Honestly, I, it just looked like a nightie on me because yeah. I can't belt it. You can't belt it and the, the um, sleeves are finishing in the wrong okay. place as well. Uh, right. This one, actually, I love. I got this one. I don't belt it, but it's like wearing a huge shirt. Yeah. I have no idea whether it suits me or not, but I don't care because I love it. Right, so uh, we've done dresses, shoes. I'm going to do shoes very quickly. You should have bold, eye-catching shoes. Yes, I have. Can you see my shoes? Yeah. They're all bold. They're all eye-catching. Block heels are good for me. I wear a block heel. These are very eye-catching. These are very eye-catching. I can wear an ankle strap. I meant to grab the refresh sandals, but, you know, we, you've seen them online. Oh, God, where did I put that? I tell you what, Donna, I'm going to go behind you. Oh, right. Theoretically, to get what? To get these. They are, now I you can look at the shoes. I should wear slouchy boots or cowboy boots. But that doesn't take into account the fact that I have ridiculously thin legs. So I'm just going to take this out. Have I got time to shove them on? Yeah, you have. Right, let's just see if I can quickly do this. And again, although it might suit an inverted triangle look how thin my legs are it's like i'm wearing blooming in wellies so they just don't work for me okay yeah yeah 
So that's why yes, but but can I can I chip in something here? Yeah. I think they're not working for you also because you don't feel good in them, and so that it goes down to that confidence, confidence. thing you were talking about. Yeah, if I have, you my, know, you know, what am I going to stick in them? My jeans are never tight enough because I wear looser jeans. No, because you're not going to. See, I would wear those, and I would have but worn them that gappy. Big... But I would have worn them with um, the floaty dress and the floaty yeah. skirt, the bohemian look. But so I you... would have one that was too long, so why have them? Yeah, yeah. I'm not it having that gap. No, it it's wouldn't work happening. for you. Yeah. So cowboy boots are a big no-no for me, which makes me very sad because I love them. Right, I should always wear long necklaces. Yeah, I do. I don't always, but I do love a long necklace. Draws the eye down, so we know about that one. Yeah, and it gives you the V, so gives it gives you, you the, the v. v, and but it has to finish in the right place, ladies. It mustn't hang from your boobs, because if it hangs from your boobs, then your eye is drawn to your boobs. It needs to go there. Here. Look, the end of the necklace wear, needs to go there. Um, a long scarf. I don't particularly like long scarves. I don't know why. I prefer a slightly shorter scarf. Mm. So if I ever get to the stage in my life where I'm cold again then I would wear a scarf like this or I would have it tied in my neck. I wouldn't have, the only scarf I wear that you wrap round a hundred times is the one to keep me warm in the winter. winter yeah. So I don't take too much notice of that. Right, uh, shoes, bags, uh, basically anything goes with that. I can wear a crossbody, theoretically I should stop it at the hip, but actually I love the new shorter way of wearing yeah, them. Yeah. And although it draws attention to me up here, I don't care because I like it. Right, I should wear statement rings and bracelets. I do. You do all the time. I, do. I don't wear a lot of jewellery, mm. but the, the jewellery I wear is big, isn't it? Yeah. And I tend to wear just one piece that you can see and absolutely nothing else. So you can see my collection of big rings. I also wear big bracelets. So I'm just going to um, grab this. This is a favorite of mine. Mm. See, I feel like naked cup. without my bracelets. I really no, don't I feel don't. naked. I just, I don't wear a lot of jewelry. I can wear one piece and then after that I feel so. I, I look at other people who stand. Oh, I it. recognize that. Somebody made that, yes. didn't they? Denise Can't... made it for Denise me. Denise made it, yeah. Yeah, lovely. so I love one off striking pieces. I feel slightly odd stacking them up. The only thing I stack up is my silver bangles. I've got one missing here. So that's jewellery. Um, avoid. Avoid shoulder pads. Well, you see, I think that's complete nonsense. It's obviously aimed at the sh big shoulder people because you can see from these shoulder pads that actually they balance me out and they accentuate my waist. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm thinking about getting some shoulder pads. Uh, avoid horizontal stripes at the top. Well, I'm not doing that. Apparently, I shouldn't wear boat necks. Well, that's oh! ridiculous. I've no idea why. But this dress, I put a photo up of was of me at Paddy's ordination. Yeah. We sold out of them in 36 hours. Yeah. So clearly, it does something for me. Yeah. And I love it. Love this dress. I should never wear frills and I shouldn't wear puff sleeve. <laughs> Say hello to Annabelle, my favourite shirt. <laughs> So I don't take any notice of that. I love this shirt. I wear it. Um, big patterns at the top. This is another ancient Milano top. I love this. But you tuck that in, don't you? I tuck that in. Tuck you that in you do tuck that yeah, in. Tuck that yeah. in. Yeah. And then I have it out at the back so that it covers up the fact that um, I've got a tummy. Now, my final thing is this shirt. Now, the advert I put up for this uh, Facebook Live, I was wearing this shirt and a pair of white jeans. That was a genuine photo of what I wore to work on Monday. And if you go back and you look closely at it, it completely accentuates my upper half and completely diminishes my bottom half, which is theoretically what we are not supposed to do. Oh. But I love this shirt. I love white jeans. I love the belt I was wearing it with on Monday. And nobody has ever dared to say to me, you look a pig in it. Even so when it's buttoned up more. rightly. Well, I've got this out of the laundry as well. <laughs> oh, these clothes are coming out of the laundry. Sorry, I just I wanted the camera, to finish sorry. on this note, ladies. Yeah. 
just to explain to you that we really, really mean it when we say all you have to do is wear confidence because I feel very, very confident when I'm in this shirt. I feel very, very confident when I'm wearing it with white jeans. And it only occurred to me as an afterthought this morning when I was thinking about doing all this, that actually it makes you look like an inverted triangle. Sarah. <laughs> but do I care? So that's it, ladies. Uh, I've got no idea what we're doing next week. I think we're doing an homage to Ralph Lauren, aren't we? We are. We are. We're, we're, we're um, our, it's, our, it's one that I'm really looking forward yeah, to, so actually. Am I. Yeah. I just hope it's not very hot. It is going to be hot. <laughs> oh, we God. are going to be sweating. <laughs> but we both have a little bit of a thing about Ralph Lauren, yeah. so we're going to really, really enjoy yeah. doing that. So let's hope we don't look sweaty messes. Well, we are going to look sweaty messes because <laughs> we're going to have all our fedoras. I might bring gilets. a fan. Yeah, I might bring a fan. We might have to have one that's swirling around. Yeah, we'll have yeah. all the doors. I'll bring a I'll bring a fan I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so right. thank you for joining us. I hope there we you go. enjoyed Before it. Before we close it, because we do have um, we we do have a few minutes. Um, any questions, ladies? Now's your chance. Right. Can so if just... we go back to the jackets. Yeah. With the lady who had big boobs, big hips, and a big tummy. Yeah. Um. That's Joe. Joe, was that you? Yeah. So. What she really needs to do, I would say, wouldn't you, is actually... Well, are you... Are she, is she apple shape? Are you... Are, well, what she, she... She's pear shape from what she said. Okay. I think she probably needs to wear something longer, like a longer down to about... I don't know how... Down to about there. You know, have one of those long line jackets that I oh, wear. Oh, more I like board, a dust jacket. Like a dust A dust, a, a duster jacket, yeah. Because then it will go all the way down. And it will fall from your uh, bust. It won't yeah. be tight over your hips. And you clearly don't want to draw attention to your tummy anyway. So it will create a straight line. And then you wear monochrome underneath it. Yeah. I've got that navy one I live in normally. And actually, this is a very strange summer because we're not wearing half our clothes. Well, actually, very similar to the James Lakeland one. Pull the yeah. James Lakeland one out. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. yeah. That, uh, that's that's very duster like, isn't yeah. it? And I so, always, so, when I was an eight, when I'm well, there you go, of... there you go. I think your name's yes, it is Joe, Joe yeah. Pony Duck. Something like that, then. Yeah, that's yeah. what you know, something that's soft, but you, um, yeah. soft I'm, hangs well hangs and well, well but, cut, but long, yeah, long, so long. That it just yeah, takes duster. the eye yeah. down. Yeah. I wouldn't, I would definitely never wear anything that's sort of finished yeah. here. It's very interesting that I wear a long, I love a duster jacket, absolutely love it love it because i think it makes me look taller yeah well i, I think it makes everybody look taller and ah, there which you go. is why we sell so many coatigans yeah oh Anne agrees with us Anne's just Anne randall has just said a duster coat or a long cardigan She's will got help the coat I'm there you go Anne and i have got this same coat with a hood yeah and it's really long and that is Anne. She there you go i remember it i do remember she it she has a tummy and it just takes the eye up and down. And, and can you find it and post a picture of yourself wearing it so we can, um, so that Joe can see bad. it. Yeah. Post it to the, post it to Artichoke Girls. So and that we can see yeah, you we can in see. it because it is yeah. a great jacket. Yeah. Right, have we done? Are we okay? Yes, now? we are. It, it is 20 past, right, 20 okay. minutes past. Okay. Thank you for joining us, ladies. Um, and you will see lots of new arrivals. Remember, the Georgina Gillet is being launched on Monday morning. Live! Mm. Georgie's so looking forward to it. It's been, oh, bank holiday Monday. Yeah, that's why, she's yeah, home. Yeah, because Georgie's oh, home. Oh, Georgie fantastic. wear the Gillet. Yeah. She's thrilled to bits and Oh, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Poor George. If she wants mummy to move her home, that's what yeah. she's going to do. <laughs> no, it's worth seeing. Right, lovely. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm.